Hi, good morning. This is Jamar. Now I am going to take the topic about Blade Server. What is Blade Server? Blade Server has a two-part Blade Carrier and Blade Server. Blade Server typically placed inside the Blade Carrier by together they form the Blade System. Using this setup, we can minimize the physical space and energy. This is the picture about the Blade System and the label A it shows Blade Carrier and uh, picture B shows the Blade Server. By placing this blade server inside the blade carrier, we can form the blade system. So a single blade carrier have a multiple blade server. By this enclosure, it has a multiple blade server and which it provide power, cooling, networking and various interconnect and management console. And if we'll see the basic difference between blade server and rack server, it you will get the more clear picture about the things. And this is the rack server, and this is the blade server. It look like this, and the picture. This is the rack server. The definition: blade server actually it is the standalone server standalone computer but in the blade server it is the modular design yeah, obtaining this we can minimize the physical space and uh, but in uh, it's uh, completely opposite to the rack it requires more space because it has a sp separate hard drive network card and contained in a case and uh, rack it's the name is originated from the rack server or specially designed to store in a rack so hence the name it's called rack server blade comes from the blade it's indicating restricted format and focus it is very expandable but it's comparatively less and power demand it's require more power but it's uh, very less and maintenance cost also rack server it's very high it's less on the other case in the rack blade server and cost is very high it's very low a large is comparatively is very large is very less cabling also it's very uh, huge uh, it's very complex cabling network it's looking like this but it's in the rack server but in the blade server it's very comfortable it will come with three or four cables uh, it's suitable for small business it's ex and organization for some business like made in the web server FTP server email server in that case we can go with the rack server to maintain the external organization and cloud computing high performance computing in that case we can go with the uh, uh, blade server benefits it's uh, we can uh, it's very expandable if you want we can easily expandable and it's uh, we can occur the large amount of RAM and and it's uh, make easy to keep the need orderly include some kind of cable and argument on the other case in the blade server what are the benefits it's a uh, very low acquisition cost and operation cost also is very low it's require very less troubleshooting and repair and low power requirement lower space cooling requirement and reducing cabling requirement and uh, very efficient out of management allow faster server to server communication because it everything will come with a single chassis and greater flexibility and design it's a standalone system it's a modular system and disadvantage it's uh, require more physical space but in other case it's a uh, chassis it's a relia reliability on the chassis depends on the reliability of chassis only we can place the server and mount it inside the cell rack but in the chassis the main use case in the rack server we can do rack server we can use in the separate standalone server uh, http server web server ftp server in that case we can go with the rack server but to maintain the high performance computing cloud computing in that case in this case we can uh, go ahead with the blade server